This is the moment of glory. I'm standing beside Paris Hilton. I want to touch her bum. Tell me, give me my love, a her era home. Dear Kasula Show. It's sneaky. I gotta go for it. Cheeky squeeze. This is my vision for Pat. This is gonna be unbelievable. Take it to the top. Get your sexy hair. Huh? However, you can't take solace in the fact that this week you were nominated for Irish Rear of the Year. Yes, I was. Yes, she was. <laughs> anyway, moving on. First up is Gambit, which is a groovy 60s remake of a classic comedy thriller starring Cameron Diaz and Colin Firth. So many women going, Alan Rickman is this sexy man. Uh -huh. Do you find yourself disproportionately attracted to him? Or more than you anticipate you to tell be? the truth, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, I pretend I? I'm not here. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, yes you I did. did. Ang, 3D is such a new medium to a lot of people and even maybe the best people in the world are still grappling with its potential but also its limitations. Right. When you were considering if you were going to use it or not, were you apprehensive or did you feel you had to use it because of your vision? Actually, I didn't think I wanted to make the movie. So because at all? It, at all. A lot of people are probably looking at the television right now going, oh my goodness gracious, it's Ariel from The Little my Mermaid. My under the table. How are you doing? Yeah. I just want to punch I don't know, I want it to say. Well, no. I kind of well, no. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Oh, well, I feel like, oh. I feel like just, oh, no. I don't even know. You don't even know? No, I just want to dance and just jump. Just dance? <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> Amazing. I know you've got a massive uh, gang out there, so go say hello to them. Congratulations, and we'll see you in the live Thank shows. Thank you. Do you think Keen Egan looks a bit constipated when he's on the chair, when he's thinking? Yeah, he There's does. Something about his face. Yeah. It yeah. just screams. That, your face one. is in the back of my mind. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, we, we did struggle on diversity this year. New rules are step up my pitch. Step my pitch up. A few facts and figures, right? Westlife, 14 number one UK singles, 25 top 10 UK singles, biggest selling band of the last decade, 45 million albums in 2008, apparently worth nearly 40 million euro. And Keen even brings him to the beach, Catherine. That's terrible. Oh, hold on a second, Owen. Let Keen speak for himself. All right, we shall grant Key and Ebenezer Scrooge Egan a brief audience. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 24 artists remain, and from now on, their future is in your hands. Yes, we have our 24, and they have definitely earned their place in the live show. So let's get them back up here on the stage. <laughs> Last yeah. time we were here, to two years ago, Jesse Metcalf hosted, and he was crap. Was he? Yeah, it wasn't great. Is so, that pressure? Should no, I, no, no, it's anti-pressure. It's the opposite Should I feel pressure. the pressure? Because the, the bar is so low, you can only go up. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the way you have to think about it. It's going to be great. Like. That's, that's, that's hardcore. So having just beaten you two in the best album category, the Coronas are now quantifiably the best band in the country. Here's an exclusive clip of our little chat. I better not be rolling now. No, this is not at all. You're, you're a <laughs> uh, Mayor Bloomberg, it's a pleasure to be here in New York on this fabulous occasion yet again. How are you doing? Being rowdy for a moment. I know Americans by nature are loud <laughs> and eat a lot of bagels, but let's not conform to any stereotypes today. Today, by order of the mayor, is everybody a little bit Irish? Everybody's a little bit Irish. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a harpoon day and nightly. Where the hell is that? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. Oh, look, he's the pencil good man of the show, is. Oh, Danny, I've done it. Yeah. Good, good, good to see you. Welcome back to part two of Frenemies, where we mull over different scenarios and dilemmas with the ultimate goal of ascertaining not what you would do, but what your friends think you should do. Let's re-engage our brains as we welcome our final beacon of truth, hope, and all that's good in the world from Monaghan. It's Rachel McCann. Give us some love. The celebrity's obviously not going to call around to your house for tea and biscuits saying, thanks a million for saving me on Twitter. But that's not the point, though. You're not doing it for the validation of the celebrity. You're doing it because it's right, surely, no? I live in a small town, people talk, you know. OMG, she kissed oh, someone and spin the ball. Oh. She's definitely pregnant. <laughs> if you want to have your say on Twitter, please tweet in with hashtag RTE The Voice My and room. Facebook it's if you want to as well. <laughs> uh. And Rob Ross becomes the envy of most of the women in Ireland when he interviews Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, <laughs> back in a minute. <laughs>